Hello and welcome to the first ever Packaged Rebellion record unboxing. I am your host, uh, Barry Lumbersquatch, as I'm known throughout uh, most corners of the internet. And we are going to present to you, uh, hopefully it turns out to be a weekly show where we have some uh, vinyl, we unbox it, we show you the different variants, the, the cover art, what's inside. Um, be focusing mostly on the metal side of vinyl. Uh, could be a few other styles of music thrown in, you know, a couple other genres. Um, but we'll see as the show progresses again, first ever. And I figured, well, what better way to start off the first ever Package Rebellion with a dual unboxing. And these two albums come to you via Prosthetic Records. Uh, we have Macabre, Beyond the Reach of Flame, and The New Skeleton Witch, Devouring Radiant Light. Uh, both have been out a while. The Macabre, Beyond the Reach of Flame was released uh, May 25th, 2018, and The Skeleton Witch, Devouring Radiant Light was released on July 20th, 2018. And that is what is here in this box. You're not really going to see my face because it's not about how pretty I am. It's about what's in here. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's rip open this bad boy and see what we got. I know what's in here, but I haven't physically seen them. I've only seen pictures on the internet and we all know pictures on the internet never do anything in real life justice. So I'm going to use my trusty knife. I know a lot of people don't like to open packages with knives. I don't know how the hell you do it. Maybe you'd use your teeth, uh, but whatever. But I'm going to carefully slice this open. Hopefully I won't cut anything. I tell you what about prosthetic records. As I talk over the noise of me cutting this open. There, I've received quite a few packages from them in the past. And I've never had to worry about a piece of vinyl being broken or damaged because they really do a stand-up job when they package this stuff. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that because that's my invoice. You don't need to see my invoice. A little bit of packaging so it doesn't rattle around in there. Knife down. Alright, so let's see what we got. Cool. There is the Skeleton Witch and the Macabre. Mmm, I think we're going to start off with the Macabre first. Look at all that cardboard that they put in there. It's awesome. Recycling doesn't like it, but I do. So the Macabre, Beyond the Reach of Flame, as I said, released May 25th, 2018. This in particular uh, variant is limited to 300 copies worldwide. Uh, and the cover art is by Dan Seagrave. Beyond the reach of flame. On the back, your standard band name, title, track listing. So let's say we open this up. If I can find out what I do with my knife, I'm very confused. You'll have to excuse me. This is the first one. I'm not going to show you me opening this because people get mad. Oh my god, you're not opening correctly. Uh, so while I open this, a little bit of background about me. I started off in the world of podcasting before podcasting was even a thing. Uh, back in uh, September 2004 with the Bib and Yaz show. We ran for a little bit over a year and a half maybe. And then in 2006 I started <clears throat> Psychobilly Deluxe, which fo focused mostly on Psychobilly music, Rockabilly, Western Swing, which turned that show turned into Hellbilly Rec House and Rec House Radio. Had a bunch of other shows on there. Uh, went to do another kind of talk show called Ill Informed about tech and such. And then uh, did another show, Metal or Get the Fuck Out. Both Ill Informed and Metal or Get the Fuck Out were with the same gentleman by the name of Goose. I don't know if he wants to be called Goose or Ryan. Uh, I guess I gave that away. Uh, then I decided, what the hell, after a few year break, I'll start doing this. But enough about me, back to McCauver. Insert, uh, band photo, band name again, very well done. 
No, sorry, just looking at their shirts. Lyrics on the back, really awesome. Move this over to the side. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Hey, don't fall off. Now, to pay dirt. It's not really pay dirt, but this is the blue and white swirl LP. You can see there, it's very nicely done. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try something new. So I'm going to turn on what I call the Bazitron 5000, which is basically just a tracing light. But when I call it Bazitron 5000, it just makes it sound a little bit more official, cooler, if you will. So we'll see if, how translucent this is, if you can really... Eh, it's not that translucent. You can still see some color in there. Not bad. Very well done. I like it. Yeah. Not as translucent as I hope, but not that it matters, not that you're holding these up to the light anyway, you're going to play them or display them. So I'll turn this off. Super cool. So there you have it. Micawber. Beyond the Reach of Flame. And now we're going to head over, not head over, I mean I'm still going to stand in the same place. Because, you know, it doesn't make much sense for me to go anywhere. Again, back side, front side. Woo. I'm looking at this upside down, so bear with me here. Here we have it, the brand new Skeleton Witch out on Prosthetic Records as well. Uh, limited edition translucent orange with outer edge glow LP. This is one of 650. I didn't get in on this when the original, uh, I think there were 200 limited editions uh, through the Skeleton Witch store, which I missed out on. Sometimes I, I procrastinate a little bit too much and I don't get the ones I want. And other times I'm just not fast enough, which I guess you can say is the same exact thing. So here again, on the back, got a real blurry band photo, band logo, standard track listing still very cool I like it when they put the stickers on the front like here I like these stickers don't ask me why I wish the McCulver one had it uh, so before we get to the actual vinyl we've got a really cool insert insert is the album art I don't know who did the album art I couldn't find it another band photo and on the back, bands, uh, the names of the members, you know, who's produced by, mixed by, mastered, all that. Uh, cover illustration by, looks like, Stefan Thanier. Thanier. There you go. I had to wait to open it to find out who that was. Now, I've seen other people on the internet complain because that's what people on the internet like to do. That there wasn't, I don't know, orange enough with an outer edge, or with uh, enough outer edge glow. I still think that's a really sharp looking disc. Backside album art again. This dude's getting a lot of play. Let's turn on the Bazitron 5000. Oh, there you go. Look at that bad boy. Mmm. Tasty. Nice and yellow doesn't look orange, but I'm okay with it because it still looks really awesome. Skeleton Witch. Can't really see it there as I turn off the Bazitron 5000. I'm probably going to get sick of saying Bazitron 5000 even before uh, you're sick of me. So, well, we'll see which one happens first. How about that? So there you have it, the new Skeleton Witch. Devouring Radiant Light Limited Edition LP and the Micawber Beyond the Reach of Flame Blue and White Swirl LP. There's your Skeleton Witch. And there's your Micawber. Ooh, look at them. First episode package Rebellion, two for one. Uh, you can get these now on Prosthetic Records. I know there's limited. I think there's only seven of the Skeleton Witch left. 
uh, of this variant. I'm not sure how many of the blue and white swirl Macover are left. Um, this isn't a review of the music. It's more about the vinyl, but I will tell you this. Both of these albums are awesome. Uh, I love the new Skeleton Witch more so than the old Skeleton Witch. Um, I like the newer black metal uh, way they're going with it. And I hope they keep that up. Because this album sounds awesome. And this Macabre is another great album. You can't go wrong with either one. So pick them up. Prosthetic Records. Um, next week, not sure what I'm going to bring to you. But I have like four, five, six packages waiting to be opened. Um, new vinyl that's come my way. I've got some Death Angel. I've got the Death Heaven. I'll have Obulette and uh, Craft, and then even more after that. So hopefully this picks up steam. You enjoy it. Um, questions, comments, uh, shoot me an email to packagedrebellion333 at gmail.com. Uh, again, it's packagedrebellion333 at gmail.com. Make sure you comment, subscribe, you know, all that happy horseshit that comes along with YouTube videos. Um, hopefully we'll have a website up soon. Then we'll actually have reviews of the music and, and much, much more. So this is Barry Lumbersquatch, and I'm signing off. Thank you for watching. Uh, share.